After sharing the two methods I used for cleaning the intake valves on my GDI engine, a lot of you picked the drill and brush method as your preferred option. This is a very cheap and fast method with very good results. And so today I want to go a bit deeper into the drill method and share a few important things that I didn't mention in the first video. Now let's get this. I'll be using the intake port for cylinder 4 as the test subject and here's how the intake valves look. Most of the build up is on the valve stem and the walls of the intake port also have deposits and vanish but in all this is not that bad for a car with 96,000 miles. I guess many thanks for having an oil catch can on this car and everything boils down to a few tools and elbow grease. The main tool you're going to need is a drill and these nylon brushes which you can cut down to size depending on the length of your intake port. I also used cab cleaner and this water-based engine degreaser as well as this extraction kit for removing the fluids and blowing out with compressed air is a good nice to have but you can simply use a rag to soak out the last bits of the fluid. In addition, I improvised with zip tying a piece of scotch bright pad to the tip of what I cut off from the nylon brush earlier. This was just for final touches and I'll be showing how I used it in a minute. Because the intake on this 2017 Accord faces the firewall, I also went ahead to get a flex shaft extension for the drill, but this is something you may not need depending on the orientation of your engine. For these rear facing intake manifolds, if you can, I advise you get a bore scope just to help guide your cleaning efforts. The open valve is at this end of the engine, and so I taped it off. For the drill method, the first thing I did was to fill the intake port with the water-based engine degreaser and then attacked it with the drill. The main reason for using this degreaser is that I found it to be more effective at removing varnish stains than cab cleaner. It's not widely available but there's this industrial degreaser from Simple Green which I believe should work well. I'll leave a link to that and all the tools in the video down below. After this first round of cleaning, I used a combination of a turkey bit and a manual pump to extract all the dirty fluid. Here's how the intake valves look. Most of the cleaning is on the intake port wall. The lower part of the stem on this valve has been cleaned while the second valve still has a lot of build up on its stem. And this is where cab cleaner comes in. I submerged the valves in cab cleaner and then went back to agitating with the drill powered nylon brush. Cab cleaner is going to break down most of the carbon and after extracting the bad fluid and blowing the intake port dry. Here's what the intake valves look like after using cab cleaner. You can see that most of the build up on the valve stem are gone but there's just still some carbon here and there on the back of the intake valves and so I go back to filling up with the degreaser, left it to soak for a couple hours and went back to the nylon brush. For the final touch I bring in the scotch bright pad tool that I made and did some manual scrubbing as well as some drill action. I extract all the fluid. The last thing I did was to use water Water to rinse out all the chemicals, extract all of that and here's what I was able to achieve with just using a drill and brushes. You can see that the intake port wall is pretty clean and the valve stems as well as the back of the intake valves have been cleaned pretty well. There's still a few deposits left here and there but in all this is an awesome result. I should say that walnut blasting alone didn't give me results like this in the other intake ports. I'm trying to get to a hundred thousand subscribers this month. So do take out time to subscribe if you've loved this. Do check out other content I have on cleaning intake valves if you haven't seen them already and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!